This video will guide you to install Magento with ISP config in Ubuntu. Step 1. Installing PHP extensions and composer tools. First install composer on your Linux with this command. Then install the PHP extension. Step 2. Installing Elasticsearch. To enhance the search functionality, performance, and scalability of your online store and for faster and more accurate search results, you need to install Elasticsearch first. Run the following command to ensure that all system packages are up to date. By running this command, you ensure that your system has the necessary components to install Elasticsearch and handle secure connections. Use the following command to download the GPG key for Elasticsearch, suppress any output, and add the key to the app package manager's keyring. Run this command to add the Elasticsearch repository to the list of package sources on your Linux system. It allows the system's package manager to access and install Elasticsearch packages from the repository, then update your system. Now install Elasticsearch. To ensure that Elasticsearch starts automatically on system boot and begins running immediately, execute this command. Now let's check if Elasticsearch is running and accessible through this command. Step 3. Deploying Magento Applications Before proceeding, ensure that you have your website and the corresponding database. If you haven't already, you can utilize ISP config to create them. Please make sure to remember the database name, username, and password that you have created. These details are essential for the following steps. To ensure compatibility, it is important to check that the version of Magento matches the corresponding PHP version. You can find the appropriate version here. Search for the Magento version you need at offshore site and get the download link, then download it to the current directory using the following command. Here we download the Magento 2245P2. Now we will check if the installation package was downloaded successfully and check the name of the folder. Next you need to unzip the website folder. The folder automatically generated when the website is created in ISP config is not modifiable. You need to use this command to remove the unmodifiable attribute of the file. Go to the folder where the website is located. Use this command to change the properties of a web folder so that it can be changed or deleted. Delete the original web folder. Move the Magento installer to the website folder and rename it to web. Go to the just renamed web folder, installing some of the modules required for Magento deployment with Composer. By executing this command, you are granting read and write permissions for all files and directories under web folder. To complete the process, execute these commands for deploying your personal Magento application. Take care to replace the fields you need as appropriate. You need this information that you created with ISP config. Here I add the username and password you will use to log into Magento. You will need to leave your real email address here so that you can be contacted when Magento has a version update, etc. Let's put it to the test. It shows that our test website has been successfully deployed. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.